hello everyone so let's see how we can uh, run the maven project or build the maven project in the vs code so let's first quickly create the maven project so for that purpose click on the explorer and you can click on this maven okay click on plus sign and from here we can create the maven project or you can go to the view then command palette click on that click maven create maven project Select no archetype, give group ID and artifact ID for your project. Select the location where you want to save the project. And open that folder in the VS Code. So let's quickly add few dependencies and plugins required in the pom.xl file for our selenium test case. Let's add the selenium first. Similarly, let's add the test ng. and dependency for the web drawer manager and under build tag we need to add the compiler plugin and surefire plugin so on the left hand side for our uh, maven demo projects all the plugins and all the dependencies are available now so now let's add one uh, simple selenium test to open the browser so under ssh test java i will first add the package click on new folder Let's say test and in that folder I will be going to add a Java file. So click on new file and let's say this is my goal test dot Java. So now let's quickly add one Selenium test case. So this is the simple uh, selenium test here we are opening the chrome driver with the web driver manager and uh, we are going to go to the google.com and we are asserting the title of the web page and we are predicting the title as well. So there are different uh, ways by which we can run this maven project or we can uh, build this maven project. So easiest way is to run this test is using these icons here you can see click to run the test. So if I right click on, I will get the different options to run, debug and all other things. Okay, so these options, if you are not able to see, you need to add the extension. So inside the pack of this extension, we will get the debugger for the Java, test runner for the Java, which is uh, required uh, for the test, test ng. Okay, so all these things you will get with this extension. So first and easy way to click on this icon and if you have multiple tests in your uh, Java class then you can click on this icon. So whatever output you will uh, get in the Eclipse or IntelliJ the same you will see in the VS Code. Only thing is it is very lightweight and uses a very less memory and our test got passed. So if you click on the test result here you will find the output. So we can uh, build this Maven project or run this Maven project with the help of Maven uh, commands as well. Okay so for that purpose you can use the terminal. Here you can write the Maven command you want to execute or you can uh, right click on this project. Okay here you will get the different uh, Maven commands. Okay so clean, package, install, compile. So all these are the phase, uh, phases in our Maven build life cycle right so this is from the clean life cycle okay so if i click on test so it is going to run the mun test so it is going to compile our uh, maven project and run our test cases so using this terminal i can run any maven command i want to run so let's say mun let's say clean so clean the target folder Okay, so previous uh, build or previous classes, whatever data available in the target folder and then here I will use the, let's say install. 
okay so to run the maven command uh, i need to be available in the project location first in which my pom.xml file is available right so currently we are under the parent folder only we are not under inside the uh, project folder so you can use the cd command from here to go inside that uh, folder or you can directly right click on the fold uh, project and you can click on open in integrated terminal okay so we are directly inside the project now the maven project that we want to run so from this location i can run any maven command now so same mn clean let's say install so compile the project run the test case and create the build and install it in the local m2 repository on my local system So test got executed and build success and all the details you can find over here building the jar and that is available in the target and this is our jar name. Okay so whatever data or whatever information that you have provided in the pom.xml file for your project with the same artifact id your jar will be created in the target folder. Okay so maven demo and this is the version dot jar file. So by executing any Maven command in the terminal, we will be able to run any Maven project. Okay. And same things we can do from this uh, options as well. Just expand this. Here uh, there are some life cycles and plugins available. So I can make use of this life cycle as well to run this Maven project. So with the help of clean, I just clean my previous build. Then again, I can use this test to run the test case. Means without creating any build, just run the unit level test case available in my Maven project. So it will use all the plugins and their version whatever we have provided in the pom.xml file for the compiler plugin and uh, surefire plugin okay so for creating the build you can use this package as well okay and same we can use the plugins as well so we know that for compilation the compiler plugin will be used for running our test your file plugin will be used right for creating the jar jar plugin will be used let's use the surefire and click on test so another thing that we can use is the test ng xml file so i cannot directly convert this into the test ng that we are uh, we are able to do in the eclipse but i can create a test ng xml and then i will i can add the data in that file and then we can run that test ng xml file with the help of surefire plugin so at the project location i am going to add so i will click on new file this is my let's say test ng dot xml so just go to the official website of the test ng click on documentation so here if you scroll down you will find the sample test ng xml file format so i am going to copy that add it here and we need to run the test from this google test right so class name we need to provide the fully qualified name that is the package name that is test dot google test and we can have multiple tests as per requirements currently i have only one okay so we have created the test ng xml file so under the surefire plugin just add the configuration and here we need to provide the detail of the test ng xml file okay so this file is available at my project location that's why i have not provided any uh, folder name here if it is under any folder you need to provide the folder name as well okay so now we can uh, run this maven project so you can use any life cycle or plugin so i will use the life cycle let's use the install okay so whatever data or whatever test you have added in the test ng xml file all those tests will be executed okay so that is all for this session guys i will see you in the next video soon thank you